Hey there guys, I'm Martin Customs Limited and I like making popular culture products for movies, games and comics. And today I'm going to be making a custom pair of Air Force Ones based on a weapon skin for my favourite game ever made, Rainbow Six Siege. Now if you're a gamer you've probably heard of Rainbow Six Siege before, especially if you like first person shooters. It's a tactical shooter in which the environment is destructible and there's gadgets involved which makes each individual character very very different. Now I've never really been into first person shooters. I feel they're all kind of the same. Uh, I've played a lot of Far Cry, played Crisis 2. Call of Duty Zombies is great but Rainbow Six Siege is just a different beast. It's hard to explain to someone who hasn't played it, but it's more like a chess game of who knows the maps better, who knows the operators better, who has the better comms and communicating with their team, as it is about just shoot, shoot, bang, bang, die, die, pew, pew, you know? <laughs> There's just something about this game that when you're in a situation where you think someone's going to repel in through a window above you, you know where that is, you shoot through the floor so you get an angle on that window, look up and shoot someone as they repel in. Mwah! Chef's kiss. Just no other game does it better. So if you haven't tried this game out before, give it a go, man. If you like shooters, you like strategy, it's a game for you. Enough gushing about the game, though. So what I'm doing with the shoe is I'm making the black ice fade from the heel to the toe cap. And then I'm doing a reverse on one of the swooshies each side. Swooshies? Swooshies. <laughs> each side of the shoe going backwards to give it a bit of contrast. So you can see there as I reveal that. Now I'll say I am making these because I am a massive, massive fan of the game. But also just because of the design and the look of this skin. Look at this skin. It is beautiful. It's why everybody in the game wants this skin. There's so many videos on YouTube of people opening packs and going, Oh my god, I got black eyes. They're so happy about it. And I am too, when I get one. So at this point, I've done the fade from the back to the front, except for the reverse swooshes. I've got a lot more to do to make it look like ice. But so far, do you think it's revealing the feel of this skin? where it's got that eyes to the back and then as it goes to the front it's a bit more frosty and matted. Let me know in the comments down below. Now I always try and do a bunch of different methods to get the effect and final results that I want for a project. So what you're seeing here is my final attempt at what I wanted to do and what I felt worked. However, I went through many, 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 many different stages of trying to get the shoe to look like ice. Uh, I tried using toothbrush splatters, airbrushing, washes, you name it, all the techniques that I know of, I tried all of them and none of them were sticking, none of them at all. Now this is a tip for all the artists out there that have a project and they're trying to get a particular effect to work. My head was in entirely the wrong place, I was trying to make an effect that would make the shoes look like ice. That was completely wrong. What I should have done was what I did here, which is actually just paint the effects of ice. Just use raw art skills to make the effect. Yes, it takes a lot longer to do, but ultimately it's the only way to get that effect that looks realistic. So the main effect I really used was uh, dry brushing, which is a really strange technique to use on the shoe. Very, very difficult because it meant that I just had to keep getting the exact pixelation that I needed because the surface is entirely flat. So it's not like you can dry brush over the areas that you actually need. Every stroke matters. Uh, and then on top of that, I did, as you can see here, I'm doing a lot of just little dots and then dabbing it with a bit of tissue paper so it blends in with the rest of the shading of the shoe that I used the airbrush for. Now, although in this case, dry brushing was the best result I could get, I wouldn't suggest it. It's, it's really difficult on a smooth surface. It can be used to like make fades genuinely, 
but getting the pigment right takes so so long especially when you're trying to make just small little movements like i was there but um yeah i love the end result of that and then lastly i just made a little fade to fall in line with the rest of the shoe on the laces and we're ready for the final result So there you have it guys, my custom Black Ice Rainbow Six Siege Air Force ones. Now although they are obviously in my eyes Rainbow Six Siege, I'll always see Black Ice when I see this colour scheme. I just made them because they're beautiful. I love the skin, the reason why everyone loves the skin is because it's a beautiful colour scheme. The idea of the ice is also beautiful as well. So that's really why I made them. That's why I didn't put the R6 logo. I was going to have the R6 logo on the sides of the swoosh that isn't reversed to represent the game. But I never did that because I thought, do you know what? These are just, they're great on their own. Uh, uh, maybe I'm tooting my own horn though. I don't know. Let me, let me know what you think. You Rate them out of 10. Out of 10, what do you reckon? If you're interested in getting a pair of these, then email me at marten at martencustomslimited.com or check the description down below. They're totally customizable, so you can change the color scheme. You can change how glossy they are. I always welcome custom schemes. And if you want a chance of winning a pair of these or anything from my YouTube channel or store, then answer this question. I used an effect on these shoes that I did not mention in the video. If you can tell me what effect that I used, I can see it right now. If you can tell me what effect I used that I didn't tell you about, then you'll be entered into a raffle. If you win that raffle next year, you can buy anything from my store for free. But yeah, other than that, guys, if you've made it this far into the video, thank you so much for the support. I appreciate it. Um, while you're here, I'd like to ask you to do uh, both all the YouTuber stuff and all the YouTuber things. Yeah, if you could do that, that'd be great. One of the things commonly YouTubers ask you to do is to comment down below. So comment down below what you think of these guys. I personally think they're fire. Which is ironic, because if they were fire, they would drip. Get it? Get, get it? Get it? Because, like, fire is used as a slang word 
for good fashion sense, right, right, right? But then the shoes are ice. So if they were hot, they would melt and thus will drip, which is also commonly used by the youth of today as a way of having style. So what I've done